A relative compression test measures the current draw of the starter as it fights against each cylinder's compression stroke. Using a lab scope, we can see each cylinder's ability to make a compression relative to the others. To perform this test, you'll need a two-channel lab scope, test lead kit, and the vehicle's firing order. Begin by disabling the fuel pump, then crank the engine over until it doesn't start. This will remove the fuel from the fuel lines and rail preventing engine start during the test. Connect the scope ground to battery negative. Connect channel 1 to battery positive. Probe the control wire of the most accessible ignition coil. On our test vehicle, we are probing cylinder 1. Set channel 1 of the lab scope to 5 volts with AC coupling. This will let you see the voltage change above and below zero line. Depending on your coil design, set the second channel to either 20 volts or 200 volts. On some systems, you may need to go as low as 0.5 volts. You want to have as much repetition on the screen as possible. Depending on your scope, you may have to zoom in to capture or zoom out to capture. Set your time base appropriately. Crank the engine over for four to five seconds. Save your capture. Each voltage drop is one cylinder on its compression stroke. This example shows a good four-cylinder engine. We are triggering off cylinder number one. Using the ignition control events and the firing order, you can determine the location of cylinder one, then the following cylinders in the firing order. In this example, an engine with low compression in a single cylinder is shown. Using the firing order, you can see that the third downward hump is much less than the others. This indicates a cylinder with low compression. This cylinder is using less of the battery's power to bring the piston up to top dead center compression stroke. Using the engine firing order, cylinder 4 is identified as having low compression. Mm -hmm.